times, I'm not the one with the problem. I've never said that, ma'am. I, honest, I honestly believe I would get more out of talking out of that wall that stands behind you. So why didn't you take the checkbook away from her if she's bouncing checks? I did, Your Honor. I hid it. She found it. All right, what other problems in the marriage? I would be called many names, starting with fat and ending with a few curse words. True. I did call her fat a few times, yes, ma'am. I was actually bad, told, bad. if you get any fatter, I will divorce you. Her and Eugene have ransacked my home and tried abducting my son from That's school. That's not true, Your Honor. I've got the That's police report true. and the That's photos proving it. That's a complete lie, Your Let's Honor. Let's see the police report. Talk to me. What happened, Amy? I was with Jessica, and we were running some errands. My son was sick. He was at the doctor's office that morning with my mother. I get a call from the principal saying that my husband, that we have not been together, and I've already notified the school of this, and his mother have tried to come to the school and pick up Noah, and if that was okay. Did I you do that? Did you go to, yes, to the school? Yes, we did, ma'am. Why? Amy, Amy took Noah away from us and would not let us talk to him or see him. We still have not seen him or talked to him since so February. So go to court. Get yourself a court. Court order. What's with people thinking they're going to take the law into their own hands? That's what courtrooms are had, for. That's why no you end up here. We had no intention of kidnapping Noah, man. We just wanted to say hi to him, hello to him, tell him that we still loved him. We had no intention of taking him anywhere. What or makes going you think she was going to kidnap him? I have four different witnesses stating that he actually had admitted that he was trying to take Noah to Chicago until I released the car to his mother. And at that point, tell I would me, get you Noah back. That. No, ma'am. That's Why would I say that? Why? Because your mother wants the money. Eugene never said that to him. I love I that child. Ginger, stop talking. She's a liar. Stop talking, Ginger. So what happens next? I come home with talking with Jessica, my good friend here. Everything was ransacked. Everything was broken, stolen. They had stolen all of my clothes. Left one shoe. Your Honor, she cleaned my the house out stolen. while my son was at work. She removed all of her belongings while my son was working a 12-hour shift in a slaughterhouse. Slowly by, but surely, day by day, she removed some of her belongings until there was nothing left in the house, Your Honor. Did you not know, Eugene, that she was moving out? Yes, yes ma'am, I had knew. a feeling All right, she let was. Let me look at these photos. What is this, Noah's room, leave a message? We is had, that a bulletin board? I had a whiteout board on Noah's wall so he could learn to write and leave messages for Well, Eugene. Noah's not writing no fat chicks. No, he's not. Who's but writing I that? did write, Grandma and, and your dad love you. I did write that. Right above no fat chicks allowed. I did write that. All right, what am I looking at here? Um, they had smashed Noah's uh, baby memorabilia that I had. What is this? That is all the clothes they stole and the Those hangers, hangers they on threw the floor, on the floor afterwards. She Why would the they house. steal your clothes? I don't know. They stole yeah. many things. Okay, so this is your kitchen. Looks like you're starting to move out here. What's well, this? I was starting to move out. The reason that picture was taken is there were ginger cigarette butts left in the sugar in the flour containers. I was actually uh, talking to the police officer when these photos were taken by my friend Jessica. So you call the police? There's yes. a police report? Yes, ma'am. All right. No forced entry, Eugene has a key. There's no forced entry? No, ma'am. He had a key. Are you denying that you went into this house and ransacked and took items out of there? Yes, ma'am, we are denying that. We went into that house and we removed my son's belongings. The landlord spoke to Eugene and asked him when they were going to be out of there. We packed all of Amy's clothes, her shoes, whatever she had Why there. would you pack her stuff if they're splitting because up? Because the landlord said he wanted everything out of there or else he was going to charge him another month's rent. Eugene has... Why are you shaking your head? Who are you? What's your name? Jessica. Hi, Jessica. What's your last name? Carpenter. Why are you here? She moved in with me when they were going through this problem. She called my house and wanted help, and that's when I went over, and she was talking to the police when the pictures were taken. Two days before those pictures were taken, I went over there to pick Noah up, and she had all kinds of clothes in her house. Everything was still in the closet. She did not take anything. She took one outfit for Noah and one outfit for so her. So you're saying she moved mom's. into your house and you would have known. Well, she came there for two days to stay because the police told her to leave the house. And she brought one outfit for each of them because the police had she her. She had already left the house, ma'am. She had well, been gone for about a week. Well, where are you saying, Ginger, she went? She Who took her, her clothes? Oh, Eugene took her clothes. I have her clothes. He has her clothes. I have her clothes. You have her clothes? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing with her clothes? You're not wearing them, I hope. Your Honor. Give them to her. Your Honor, I'm I will. not wearing them either. Your Honor, okay. she has items of mine. She has DVDs, CDs, oh, jewelry. And them. she has items of my deceased brother. Next on Judge Pirro. Eugene had neglected him so much that he left his shoes and socks on that he had almost like a boot rot on his foot. 
that it was all eaten away. He started crying and Eugene started pounding his fist next to him and saying, suck it up, boy. And later. In the back. I did call her fat a few times, yes, ma'am. I was actually fat. told, fat. if you get any fatter, I will divorce you. Defendant Amy Foss is countersuing her mother-in-law for stolen property and emotional distress. Amy claims the plaintiff and her son ransacked Amy's home and abducted her five-year-old son. I'm reading in this police report that there are credit cards, uh, Noah's birth certificate, social security cards, adoption paperwork in the fireplace. No, that's not. No, that's a lie. I have what? Noah's birth certificate. They never How had. How did you get? They it? never had credit cards, Your Honor. They couldn't get a pack of gum on credit. The lamp. <laughs> did you have a credit card? Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay, so if you left the house, why would you leave a credit card in I the house? I don't carry credit cards, social security cards, nothing with me All when right. I leave the home. What so about the, the adoption happened? paperwork? Where is that? I have gotten copies from my lawyer. You know, I'll tell you what bothers me. When I see that there's a couple that's going about to go through a divorce, and then all of a sudden the adoption papers are missing, I mean, my antennas go up because it seems to me that uh, it's quite possible that the plaintiff husband wouldn't want any proof that he adopted the defendant's son. That's so, I would never say that, ma'am. I love my son, and I love her. I would never do that. Well, why are you holding her clothes? She, no, well, she took, won't talk to us, Your Honor. How can we give them back to her? You know, Mom, stop That's talking. That's not true. Ginger, it you're a nice true. lady. you got to stay out of his life. Now, look, what is this police report against Ginger for drug use? What's that? Um, I did file um, Ginger as a habitual marijuana use, and she does um, partake in a little extracurricular. Um, you smoke a little weed now and then? I did after my son was killed, Your Honor. In 2002, my son was killed in a military training sorry. exercise in Camp Pendleton. And I did. I, I do admit that. I did. I get a little depressed, and I did smoke a little pot. But the last time I smoked, Your Honor, was with Amy in the back of her house in Kiwani <laughs> a year ago. Okay. Eugene, you smoke a little weed, too? No, he No, ma'am. I just hit the bottle. You just hit the bottle? I don't know if I feel better with that one. Talk to me about this uh, physical abuse that Eugene has harmed Noah in the past. I left him in his care so I could finish my nursing classes and I was working second shift which I'd get off at 11 o'clock no one would be put in bed I'd wake him up in the morning um, a couple days later I found out I took his shoes off and Eugene had neglected him so much that he left his shoes and socks on that he had almost like a boot rot on his foot that it was all eaten away and um, I was applying medication to his foot he was laying on the couch like this and I was putting medication on his foot he started crying and Eugene started pounding his fist next to him and saying suck it up boy that's not true your honor well let's start with did you give the boy a bath yes ma'am well the, the the kid's a kid your honor he's five years old he said dad I want to sleep with my shoes on I didn't see any harm in it he's got a fetish about boots and shoes he likes to wear his boots in the house he wears his mom's high heels he wears my army fun. boots my son likes trying on shoes and he like any three and four year old would he's but as a parent fun. you have to step out Plus, and it's realize not good for him. he's sleeping in boots where he stepped on bugs and feces and everything else what's the matter with you let's talk about the loan for, at first I was not paying on it I did not have a job okay. ginger knew this and I also kept in touch with ginger saying listen things are happening with Noah this is what's going on with Eugene and I and she was nice enough to sympathize with me and so she said you know when you when you get it when just, you could pay yes all right but she's so, suing you now i assume you haven't paid no i actually paid her four hundred dollars paid by f um february 1st did i wrote she pay a, you 400 ginger the check bounced your honor and i mailed her i did surprise, mail her a money surprise. order was that at a closed bounced. account is, or insufficient funds insufficient done. funds my right. tax returns haven't well it bounced but i did make sure so that you I, haven't paid her anything on the five i got her a money order thank you where is it prove it got prove the house. to me that you paid some money that you owe her she has ma'am she's paid me approximately nine hundred dollars now we have paid her back taxes on her home when in 2005 in an amount of four thousand six hundred ninety four dollars and two cents was that taken into account when you loaned her the five thousand dollars i mentioned it eugene also mentioned it but she doesn't see we don't fit believe for that. it's true ma'am we believe it went for amy's student loans we don't believe it went for the back eugene what happened to the money i don't know I mean, well, I don't know what happened to a lot of Did my money. Did Eugene pay for part of this as well? I paid for all of that, All of it. She was in the United States Army. Were you at the working time. at the time? In 2005, when all this was paid, yes. All right, here's the bottom line. As far as the court is concerned, the plaintiff loaned the defendant money mm -hmm. for a car. The defendant owes the plaintiff money. Now, you're not going to get that money unless and until you give her the property of hers that you have.
Now, the court is very disturbed about the fact that uh, um, there is an allegation here that there was a, uh, uh, a child, that Noah was, there was an attempt to kidnap Noah. Had the baby been taken, had you been panicked if we didn't know where the baby was, if there was an all-points bulletin out there, you know, then it would be different. But I'm okay. not going to award you money for that. So ordered. Verdict for the plaintiff. Our relationship wasn't working, so we do need to get out of it, just for the sake of our own selves. I feel that if maybe we had some type of counseling, marriage or financial counseling, that things could work out. I do love Amy very much, and I do miss her and Noah very much. Plaintiff Christine Garcia 